you what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 19 ultimate team game our lineup looks about the same since you guys last saw it except we've added Leighton Vander as his rookie premier card it's now a 90 overall 91 with chemistry boost on our squad and immediately what I noticed at first were the physical attributes he is 6'4", I think he actually might be listed as 6'5 in real life, but in the game, 6'4", 88 speed, 93 acceleration, this man has a chance to be a user god. Especially for years to come in Ultimate Team, with the way he's playing on the field, he's going to be getting a lot of new cards as we go downfield for Calvin Johnson and Megatron, trying to catch some airtime. So what we're going to do today is try to use Leighton Van Der Esch on the defensive end as much as we possibly can, just getting that pass off to Christian McCaffrey, who also trying to hurdle over a defensive back, and and I guess this was enough to force the rage quit. I don't know if my opponent lost connection or he just didn't want to play after giving up two big plays on the opening drive, but we ended up getting the victory really quickly in that game, so we move on to the next game where it looks like our opponent is a Los Angeles Rams fan. He actually has Ricky Williams returning the opening kickoff, which is pretty interesting. Not many people use Ricky for that purpose, spinning the wrong way. And you guys are going to see a ton of Rams on this team. Jared Goff, Todd Gurley, you guys saw Marcus Peters in the top three. So this guy might actually be building a Rams theme team here, which is pretty interesting as Gurley able to get maybe one yard in that run before Shazer brings him down. He comes out five wide with Jared Goff leaving the pocket and Goff getting an extra yard or two in that dive ahead bringing up a third down into Goff once again trying to step up. Speaking of Rams, there's Deacon Jones for the sack. That'll bring a fourth down. He runs hurry up keeping the offense on the field and we get stuck on Deacon Jones and that will allow him to get the first down and take a shot from Ronnie Lott. I feel like if we didn't get stuck on the D-line, we would have been able to stop that, but here he is. His drive continues, and he is starting to really move this ball downfield. Gurley somehow falls down. It looked like he had space to maybe go all the way. Instead, now it's second down and nine, and Goff, nowhere to go. Deacon Jones again with the sack. Now it's third down and 18. Goff taking his check down. Tyreek Hill able to get about half the yards he needs, but still, it's fourth down. I'm okay with giving up that. Meanwhile, for him, he definitely needs to go for it if he's going to take that drag route. He's not trying to get a field goal he's looking for the first and he's got it on the drag route taking a shot from Ronnie Lott but he will move the ball to the seven yard line Jared Goff is a pretty impressive four for four so far and Litton Van Der Esch meanwhile hasn't gotten any user picks in the meantime Ryan Shazier knocks the ball it was buried with the quick recovery we are at our own two yard line Though, last time we were deep in our own territory, Odell Beckham Jr. got a 99-yard touchdown. So, maybe we'll look for Odell, and that's exactly what we do. Odell gets us the first down. This time, not able to break off a couple of tackles, but still, we get out of our own end zone. That's a big play right there. Now, we go read option with Lamar Jackson. What a juke to the outside, and what a tackle by Janoris Jenkins. That saved a potential touchdown run from Lamar Jackson as we roll out the pocket here. Just going to take Christian McCaffrey, take what's given to us, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. This is still our opening drive, so... This first half going by pretty quickly. Unfortunately, Ezekiel Elliott not able to get anything going. We actually lose two yards. Third down and seven. Christian McCaffrey wide open, and he's off to the races. He's not going to be caught. It's a 63-yard touchdown run. And will catch and run for McCaffrey that puts the first points of the game on the board. So our opponent took a long time on his opening drive, ends up turning it over at the end on a very unfortunate fumble. And to give up seven points like that, we get ball coming out of half. This definitely puts us in a position of strength. Meanwhile, for him, it looks like they gave Ricky Williams the delay of game. I don't know how in the world they decided that, but he comes out firing to Todd Gurley. He definitely not likes throwing to Todd Gurley on that little post round the slot. So we cover it ourselves with Leighton Van Der Esch, who gets the easy interception. I might have actually been Terrell Davis in that slot, but either way, we get the interception. Next play going deep for Tyreek Hill. But Marcus Peters jars the ball loose at the last second. What a shed from it looks like Aaron Donald right there, bringing up a third down and 14. Middle McCaffrey again. Not a touchdown, but still a big game. That'll put us in field goal range. This will get us a lot more. Shannon Sharp trying to jump up high down at the seven yard line. Not going to call our second timeout. We're hurrying up the offense. We're going to try to get a quick run with Christian McCaffrey on first down and goal. It's actually a read option. So whatever the defense gives us, which is the McCaffrey 
free run. McCaffrey, though, is bottled up. Defensive line contains that well. There goes our second timeout. Here comes Lamar Jackson trying to do something on the read option. Instead, Deion Jones takes his head off. Now third down. We have no timeout, so we got to get rid of this ball quickly. We spot Tyreek Hill in the end zone. Oh, but they don't give him the touchdown. They didn't give him any forward progress. That should call him down at the two-yard line. I did not think Tyreek Hill would run back to me in that situation, and we end up squandering a chance at at least making this a two-possession game at the very least as we run read option again with Lamar Jackson. We'll get that block from Calvin Johnson, the juke from Lamar, and finally down by Shazier. Now, since we do get ball coming out of half, we do have a chance to right our wrongs after the way that last drive ended pretty quickly here, and the rushing game is working out pretty well for us, mainly in the Lamar Jackson department. Third down and four, though, we got to make a throw, and that we do to Calvin Johnson. Safe little in route. That'll move the chains. We are near field goal range here to make it that oh-so-critical two-possession game. We definitely want a touchdown, though. Second down and 14. Calvin Johnson has been quite the handyman this game for us today. Lamar Jackson, a pretty efficient eight for 10. Make that nine for 11 spinning away is shannon sharp and that'll bring up a first down and goal at the 10 yard line the toughest first down and goal there is but lamar jackson's trying to help us out on the qb draw out the five wide second down we're gonna take that qb draw once again and lamar jackson all the way to the end zone lamar is such a weapon because if they do not stack the box he only had five in the box that's an easy read i have five offensive linemen they can each get blocked, and Lamar Jackson's going to go at least six yards that we need to get into the end zone. And that is just the added factor that having a rushing quarterback like Lamar Jackson brings, especially in the goal line. That's why you see Cam Newton dominate in real life. Look at Tyreek Hill dominating on this kick return until I inexplicably hugged the sidelines a little bit too much. I was holding down that sprint button and... Uh, got a little bit out of control because I had a very good chance of being a touchdown if I did not end up tight roping and doing all that. So our opening drive does have some great field position. We are at the 43-yard line. This first down should help us get in the field goal range if we get it. We're trying to go for the touchdown. Tyreek had a step, but the ball goes off his helmet. Come on, man. Fourth down and four. We're going to keep the offense on the field. Lamar Jackson taking off. Can he get it? Oh, of course he can. You're really doubting Lamar Jackson's speed against a linebacker. That puts us at the 33-yard line. Lamar Jackson. Jackson staying patient. We have all day to do something, anything. Now rolling out the pocket and trying to do a little bit too much. We're going to get sacked by Derwin James. Definitely should have made a decision earlier than that. Second down and 14, taking our time, finding Calvin Johnson. And Calvin has been quite the security blanket for us lately. That brings up third down and four. Wide open McCaffrey for the first down and more. Christian McCaffrey all the way to the 16-yard line. And after a bit of a dangerous fourth down situation, this opening drive is working out pretty well for us. I don't know why I didn't take McCaffrey just now the same play we ran just now we end up getting sacked for a loss of two here's the read option for lamar jackson but he has enough defenders in the area to bring down lamar third down and nine we need lamar to make it the row and that he will finding a wide open odell beckham jr who almost got all the way into the end zone still brings up a first down and goal at the two yard line gonna try to run this in with mccaffrey oh so close but bottled up at the last second calling hurry up just to see if i like the look before the end of the first quarter and that we do Odell Beckham Jr. one-handed catch for the touchdown and even though we had great field position to start in that opening drive we still took the entire first quarter we got seven and that's the most important thing so now we come out on defense and immediately getting torched and it's time to bring Leighton Van Der Esch in the lineup see if we can get a user pick with him because using Shazier did not work out well for us so using him, you see, I just absolutely, I had the gap shot and I just, I don't know what the heck I did. I don't know if I tried to hit stick or what. Third down and two. Look at Leighton Van Der Esch with the interception. That was pretty nice. I was going to talk about how much I like using him. He's no Ryan Shazier or Deion Jones, but he's definitely close. And if he gets a card that's like a 93 or 94, he could be as good as those guys as we're looking to take another shot for Tyreek maybe at half a step but defender is able to keep close enough to jar that ball loose third down going down before I can get that pass off and I'm fourth down and nine it's not a punt it's a fake Marquette King to Everson Walls and that'll just be incomplete and that'll give our opponent great field position as he gets a big pass 
pass off, but look at Eric Berry closing in. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. Second down, play action. He's once again looking for a post route. He's looking in the corner. He's got the catch, but not both the inbounds. Now it's third down and 10. Van Der Esch controlling the middle of the field and might have had a pick of Ryan Shazer. Did not bat that ball down. Fourth down, he's not going to take his points. He's keeping the offense on the field. And what an interception by Darius Slay. Not a smart interception. I would have much preferred him swap the ball than pin us at our own five yard line. Ezekiel Elliott nearly busted off the big one. Yeah, I would prefer to swap the ball, but hey, he made the play. I'm not going to complain about that, so. Our opponent still held out a goose egg. Play action, finding Odell underneath, and OBJ juking. But unfortunately, that will keep the clock moving. There's only 52 seconds left in the first half as we try to get something going. Way downfield for Shannon Sharp, and we are very fortunate that was not intercepted. Lamar Jackson on third down and two, keeping the ball. First down and getting out of bounds to stop the clock. We still have all three timeouts in our arsenal. Lamar Jackson rolling left side once again. Going to take off with those legs, get out of bounds, stop the the clock second down and five i realized last time when i ran that play that we had shannon sharp wide open downfield and i took off a lamar jackson a little bit too early i realized that once i passed the line of scrimmage so we come back with the same exact play i believe he was running a match defense as ryan shays here forcing the fumble and the recovery by denzel ward and that'll piss my opponent off enough to force a rage quit so we're gonna hop into one more game here so we can get at least one more pick on Leighton van der esch and yeah, so we ran that play and I don't know how to actually Shannon Sharp got that open, but we'll definitely take it. So yeah, that's my review on the Leighton Van Der Esch. He's pretty fun, man. Even though he's a Dallas Cowboy and I'm a New York Giant, I'm really a fan of his game. And I would like them to put his neck roll, like his neck pad or whatever the heck you call it, that tall ass thing he's got going on in the game. That would be dope because it looks so cool. And even at his signature celebration when he makes tackles, because, um, it's, it's all cool stuff. It would be cool to add into the game of Madden. I definitely use the card more, though. Yeah, you probably won't be seeing me using Leighton Van Der Esch much. Probably gonna, you know, keep on using Shazier because he is still just absolutely a glitch. Lamar Jackson, speaking of being a glitch, breaking the tackle, but then nearly set us up for a lost fumble after Cam Chancellor lined up that hit. Rolling out the pocket with Lamar Jackson and uh, a little bit of impatience there. I probably should have stayed in there and found myself a Tyreek Hill. Second down, Nintendo. Lamar Jackson gonna get it on this read option, looking. For the touchdown, spinning inside Lamar Jackson all the way to the two yard line, and we're gonna cap the drive off with Tyreek Hill running the ball. We haven't ran that scheme too much. Our little, you know, Los Angeles Sean McVay Ram scheme of you know running the wide receiver quick and the play action and all that stuff. Mainly because you know since we've been using Lamar Jackson, it's been more of trying to get his legs involved in the game, running some QB draws out of five wide and all that kind of stuff. So we mix that in occasionally, and with Tyreek Hill at the goal line, it was a pretty good play off balance line, and with Tyreek with that speed able to get the touchdown what a hit from ronnie watt to knock that ball out fourth down and 11 he keeps the offense on the field from his own 17 running the same exact play and this time we cover it with leighton van der Esch, easily getting the interception with his height with his athleticism and forcing the rage quit Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed the games. Subscribe for more Madden 19 gameplays. Thank you guys for watching. Here comes the Rage Quit right about. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, should be any second here. I want to wait for the Rage Quit before we end the video. It looks like this guy was contemplating it. There we go. He's gone. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys next time.